During the RGG Summit 2024, a lot of Yakuza fans were eagerly waiting for the next Like a Dragon game. Some were trying to find Judgment 3, others are shouting for Yakuza 3 Kiwami, but we never expected to see Majima becoming a pirate. I wonder if we'll get to see Akeyama next in Like a Dragon Bank Teller Simulator. Oh, right. I cannot believe that Majima became a pirate before GTA 6. And it seems that Ryuga Kotoku Studio has created a new formula that enables them to release a Yakuza game every year. Because at the surface, Like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii looks similar to Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. But aside from having long names, these two games are in fact different. Even RGG Studio themselves has stated that Blood Pirate is not a spin-off game. Although it is still very much a side story, akin to Gaiden. However, that doesn't mean that Like a Dragon Pirate will be a discounted version of Infinite Wealth. In truth, this Majima Pirate Simulator will be the most thrilling entry yet in the Yakuza series. And here's why you should be excited for Like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza. But before that though, if you cannot wait to play as Captain Majima, then like this video and join Otaka Define for more Yakuza content. After almost a decade, we finally have a solo Majima game. I had a video before discussing how Goro Majima is more than deserving to have his very own exclusive game. While this game about pirates won't dive deep into Majima's past escapades as the mad dog of Shimano, hopefully you will get that in the future. But for now, it's really great that RGG Studio greenlighting this project means that they now realize how popular Majima is among the fans. And the reaction alone in this reveal shows that people welcome the idea no matter how crazy it gets. And since a pirate theme is the most out-of-the-box concept that you can make for the Yakuza series, it does make sense as to why Majima was chosen to be the solo lead. Since the unhinged nature of the Mad Dog of Shimano allows the players to convince themselves that this is a normal Tuesday for Majima. Even Hidanari Ogaki, the voice actor of Majima, is grateful to once again fill the shoes of the lead role since Yakuza 0. He stated back then that if Yakuza 0 failed, then the studio can blame him. And isn't that just the truest mindset to have? Stepping up to save the franchise and taking accountability for whatever happens because he trusts in himself and the character he portrays. And Ogaki-san proved that he more than deserves to have another shot at the lead role. So I'm really excited to play a solo Majima game since this has been one of my biggest wish for the Yakuza franchise ever since becoming a fan. Speaking of wishes, a lot of fans would love to play Yakuza with its classic gameplay mechanic of a beat em up. And thankfully, Like a Dragon Pirate will be a brawler type game. This proves that RGG is following a new pattern where the side story lad games will all be beat em ups while leaving the main series as a turn-based RPG, which is the right direction for the series to take moving forward. RGG Studio is now able to meet the demands of the fans who are fan of the classic brawler while also servicing newer fans who started their journey with Ichiban's love for turn-based RPGs. Now, the gameplay here is much like Gaiden, where Kiryu have two fighting styles namely Yakuza and Agent Style. Majima in Lad Pirate will also have two fighting styles fighting mechanics. The Mad Dog style, which is basically a rehash of his movesets in the Yakuza series, the difference here is that the new Mad Dog style can aerial juggle enemies, as Majima now has jump attacks. Looking at the trailer, it's pretty akin to Devil May Cry's mechanic in juggling enemies in the air, which I welcome since I love doing that as Dante. Majima's second moveset is the Sea Dog style. The Sea Dog style is Majima's pirate team moveset, akin to Kiryu's agent style where Joryu uses a bunch of spy gadgets, which is a fun combat system, especially since you can destroy a bunch of enemies with boot jets and exploding cigarettes. So seeing that the Sea Dog style allows Majima to use various sidearms like a plane stock gun, a whip, and his dual cutlass, it will be exciting to see how crazy we can get here in this new fighting style. But the number one question that people have for Like a Dragon Pirate is its length. How much content does this game have? Is Lad Pirate longer than Gaiden? Well, so far, we know that this game will have three explorable areas, namely Reach Island, the starting place where Majima get cast away, Hawaii, which will have the sections we got from Infinite Wealth, 
so we should be getting tons of sub-stories and minigames. The confirmed ones are the crazy delivery and the return of Yakuza card. And of course, a Yakuza game is never complete without the karaoke minigame. And I'm really glad that we get to hear 24 Hour Cinderella again after 10 years. The game also has character customization like Gaiden so you can play as Goromi. Then we have Madlantis which is a cool name. <laughs> this is a secret island controlled by criminal organizations headed by this cool looking lady. I wonder if she will be the big bad of the game or if she will have a role akin to Songhee. Anyway, since Madlantis is similar to Gaiden's castle, this area will have different forms of entertainment, such as a pirate coliseum where players can engage in naval battles, which is another new mechanic that we have in this game, offering real-time pirate cannon battle. We can customize our ships and even build a crew. So if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed's Black Flag or Sea of Thieves, then you'll enjoy this new side of the game, which is so crazy to think that RGG would implement all of this. And it's becoming more difficult to think that this will be a shorter game than Gaiden, since the gameplay content alone looks much more massive. Still though, it has not been confirmed by RGG Studio at this time of recording if Lad Pirate will be longer than Gaiden. But considering that we have three explorable areas here, and this game costing more than Gaiden, add to that that Lad Pirate will have a physical version unlike Gaiden that only had a digital release, it's very likely that this Majima game will be longer than Joryu's. Now the premise of the story is interesting. Lad Pirate will take place after the events of Infinite Wealth. This already puts it in a more exciting light with it being a sequel. We learn that the Bryce fallout from Danella Island required Japan to take back the nuclear waste as it is polluting the sea. It seems that Goro Majima is the one heading the operation for the nuclear waste cleanup. But then some mysterious plot takes place and an amnesiac Majima wakes up in Rich Island being saved by this boy Noah and his pet tiger Goro. And I'm really glad that First Summer has a role again in Like a Dragon. She first portrayed Akame in Gaiden and everyone there loves her performance including me. Anyway, the biggest mystery here is how Majima lost his memory. Now, it could be a ploy against the Daidoji faction to try and regain political control of this mess. It might be another avenging ex-Yakuza like Ebina. Or it's possibly someone who got mad at Majima for increasing taxes. True story. Whoever it was, one thing is clear, that the events here will have a greater impact in the overall scheme of mainline Like a Dragon games. This is also the reason why RGG Studio stated that this is not a spin-off game, which means we may get to see an update on Kiryu's well-being. Or whatever happened to Shishido, is he still in the trunk? And this is more of a personal thing. But I would love to see Majima somehow gets reunited with Makoto. Or just any form of interaction since our mad dog also deserves some happiness. Considering everything here, I'm looking forward in 2025 to play Like a Dragon Pirate Jakuza in Hawaii. That is still a long title. But I will surely drown massive tides of hours completing everything. This game comes out on PS5, PS4, Steam, Xbox consoles, but there's no word if this will have a Game Pass version. Also, look at this cool pop-up pirate Majima. But let me hear your thoughts. Were you surprised that the Mad Dog of Shimano is now a pirate? Now, it has been a long time since I last posted a video about Yakuza. So here's another video where I talk about Kiryu's fate in Infinite Wealth. Join Otaku Defined for more Like a Dragon content. This is Math, and stay awesome my dudes.